Hi, so this video is to show the new features in the, um, in the soft mode. So first of all, I, I would like to thank my friend uh, Alex Huguet for giving me this model to showcase the add-on. Um, and let's, let's get into it. So um, first thing, the create mode, it works exactly the same way as before, click radius and then I will create the soft mode. Um, the, the only difference is that now it is possible to select two objects. If two objects are selected, the first object is going to be taken as a reference for placing the widget. So now if I create the, the soft mode, the, um, uh, the widget, it will be placed at the center of the eyeball. So this is useful for creating blinks. Uh, I know this doesn't look amazing, but later on I will show you how that works. Um, what else? So paint mode. Paint mode is still the same Ctrl Shift P, it's gonna get you in paint mode. And um, I've just, just added a couple of things, the brush size and uh, the weight. So I mostly use the um, um, the in uh, the the strength. So I set the strength very low to paint the weight, and then I either use one or zero for the weight. So what I did, I added a short key, which is X. So now when I press X, it's gonna invert the weight. So just be careful because if you place, if you're not at zero. Um, since the place the weight is inverted, if you're at 0 0.24, the opposite is gonna be 0 0.759. Okay, so just be careful. You're at one or at zero, and yeah. So now, if I want to paint off, I can just quickly paint off the the weights. So there is a smooth weights now. So here I can set the iteration, the, the factor, and the smooth expand. I wouldn't use that one because it's gonna affect areas that are not in affected by the current weight. So just be careful when you use that. So um, I'm gonna increase a bit the I iteration and then it's gonna, it's gonna smooth the weight. It's, it's quite handy actually. So this feature, it works even, oh, even when um, when the widget is selected when we are in object mode. So if I do this, it's gonna keep smoothing the weight. So, and now there is a new new feature is the symmetry. Now it is possible to activate the, um, the symmetry. So if I click here, symmetry is gonna be enabled. As you can see, it didn't do much. And the reason why it didn't do much is because the script failed in um, in mirroring the map so the vertex group is um, um, since the mesh is not symmetrical the, uh, the vertex group is basically still on this side of the mesh so um, if I enable topology mirror uh, it's gonna work and now the object is um, is I mean now the symmetry is working so this is very handy for uh, creating shape keys. Um, what else? To toggle influence. So it's gonna turn the cl the selected widgets on and off. The delete I've already show you. It's a, it's, a m it's safer to use the this delete because it's gonna get rid of all the clutter that we don't that we don't need anymore when we uh, delete the 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 soft mode. Just be careful. I recommend to use that a lot because that might also um, make the script fail if you just delete stuff around and um, do not clean the scene. Um, yeah, I might I might write a script to clean up the scene. Actually, I'm um, I'm gonna put that in my to do list. So let's go back to it. So um widget size so now the 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 script is actually quite good at calculating the um, um the size of the widget based on the size of the um, of the object 
but sometimes um, it might be too big or too small so there's this parameter that it's gonna basically increase or reduce the size of the widgets um, this is gonna work for all the widgets in the scene but you can also tweak the the size individually so the main one they still gonna scale and globally but uh, they're gonna keep the ratio of the individual scale um, uh, oh yeah you can also change shape this is gonna be useful in case you have a couple of widgets are in the same spot and you want to be able to recognize them um, paint uh, mirror weight we covered that okay so uh, there is one one more thing and it's the clicking with uh, when you are when we are in uh, symmetry mode uh, let me enable the and we're working in symmetry mode if we press the alt key it's gonna uh do whatever is um is, is, is gonna do the action on the other side so smooth is gonna work on the other side um i'm gonna smooth a couple of times then if i press Control and alt and click it's gonna work on both sides um also mirror weight so let's say let's move this more on this side so now this um these two sides are different so if i press alt and mirror weight is gonna mirror the other side over um uh, the the opposite side over the good side uh so yeah that's uh, pretty useful oh, and also if i want to get into paint mode and i press alt i'm gonna go into the opposite group uh, mode, uh, opposite group um, vertex group. So, and then I can also, if I click paint the opposite group, I can switch between the two groups, and then I can mirror to the opposite in, in um, yeah, paint mode. Um, yeah, um, that's it. Um, yeah, those are the main feature. Oh yeah, there is the most important one, which is um, basically the reason why I wrote this the um, uh, the soft modes. It, it is because uh, I wanted to be able to make shape keys uh, the way I do it in um, in other softwares like Maya. So uh this is basically uh, a cluster workflow that it's it's very common for whoever works in um in in facial so for for visual effects so um, basically this these clusters these oh, these soft modes are actually uh supposed to end up in a blank shape so um, now the blend shape is a shape key but they are supposed to end up in a shape key so now um, it is possible to um, to um, convert the select the selected widget into a shape key so um, now if I have this and I want to convert it into a shape key just have to press select the shape select the shape key and now uh, let me disable this one i'm gonna toggle the influence and now here i have a shape key and if i set it to one it's gonna do exactly what the soft mode is doing um there is one more thing um here this is the mesh option and there is a capture shape key so basically what this is going to do is that um if I have a bunch of, sh of soft mode and I do capture to shape key, now the soft modes are um, the soft modes are baked into the shape key. Um, 
so and then there is one more thing that I wanted to uh, show is that the reason why the shape uh, the the soft modes are basically uh, are are armatures and the reason why they are armatures is because um, if you have an object that is rotating and is deforming um, if you have a modifier that is deforming the mesh and you want to get into scut mode for shape key you won't be able to do that uh, I'm just gonna uh, try to show that so I'm just gonna add a modifier here uh, um, I think uh, um, yeah simple to form would do okay this is a bit too much uh, let's turn this off um, yeah this is bend this is really extreme okay uh, okay this should yeah so <clears throat> now if I want to get into uh, if I want to create a shape key and I want to scut this it will be a nightmare uh, Now let's get in sculpt room and let's try to do something. See? It's screwing up everything. It's not working. Here it's working as it is supposed to, but it's because the mesh is not deforming there. So uh, there is no other way to deform a mesh and being able to sculpt on it if, uh, if there is a deformer on the top. So uh, that's the reason the only uh, the only the only modifier that works with the shape keys is the is the armature so the soft modes are all armatures let me get rid of this crap um, yeah so um, so basically now if I if I have soft modes they are rotating the I think I have to do something massive to show it. Um, let's create a big one. So and this one is rotating. It is doing oh, it's doing quite a lot of mess. So now if I add the shape key and I wanna edit the shape key. And if I want to sculpt it, it's gonna work. I mean, I got the symmetry, uh, but it's going to work. So this is the reason why the shape, the the soft modes are armatures. Uh, let's get rid of all this crap. <sighs> I'm still. Uh, juggling between the Maya of keys and uh, and blender all right cool so um, <clears throat> I just want to show you uh, one more thing which is uh, just this um, what what the soft modes are intended for so here this is a blink that I model with a bunch of soft modes. So this is, I find it more comfortable to use this kind of, um, to, to use uh, a soft mode, a cluster, or whatever it's called to create bench shapes because it's gonna give me a better idea of how the mesh is moving and it's gonna give me more control. So um, I hope this is, helpful and um, yeah just uh, try it download it it's free and have fun with it bye